Hi, Great Oz. Today's creative activity, we are going to make fingerprint bags in a jar. All right, so all you need is some paint and your beautiful fingers and thumbs. All right, because that's all we need and a piece of paper. So the piece of paper with the bag jar, I'm going to upload. Um, we've done a lovely jar for you. And then you can just print that. If you don't have your printer working or you can't print anything, then don't worry. You might maybe ask mom or you can even draw a little jar for yourselves. Okay. So what I've done is I've actually done the fingerprints already because it is very messy and all your little fingers get very, well, lots and lots of paint on them. So I didn't want you to have to sit and watch me painting my fingers and cleaning them and then digging them in the different paint again. It would have taken too long. We would have been here all day. So I'll show you what I've done. There you go. All right. So you've got, so this little piece of paper is on the, on the, it's been posted. So you can just print that. This is your bag jar. And what I've done is I've taken different colored paints and I've put my fingerprints in each of them. All right. And I've made my thumb on that one to make a bigger one. So that's what you do. And then you have to wait for it to dry. And then what I've got is a black Koki marker. And once you've done your little colors and your different fingerprints, you can do whatever you want. You're going to draw with the black Koki and create your little insects. Well, they're not insects. They're bugs because some of these things are not insects. They're bugs in the garden. So this little red one here, I'm going to make into a... Ladybird. So what I'm going to do is just do cokey like that. And then I'm going to color in the little black spots. They can have little feelers. And then some eyes. You can even do them with a little smiley face. All right. These here, I put four fingerprints. I'm actually going to use a bigger cokey for this one. And I'm just going to color in the inside there. You see what we're getting at. And then I'm going to do a round circle. And then I'll use my thinner one again. And we can do a little boom, boom, boom. You see? Beautiful little butterfly. Here, I used my thumb. And I used purple. And I thought maybe we could make... Let me do thick ones, rather. Whoop. Got to have four legs on either side. Can you remember what he is? One, two, three, four. Big smiley face. And he can be hanging from there. There you go. There's my spider. Then the red one here, we can make it into a little bee. So we can draw a little head for him. And then remember the bee has little lines. And of course, he's got a little sting. And he's an insect, so he's got little antenna. Okay, this guy down here is green. What do you think he is? He's a bit like... He represents my classroom. So we can make him into a green caterpillar. So we can do the little legs. Okay, that's the body. And then I'm going to do little feelers here. And then little eyes. Look at my little caterpillar. And then this guy here, you could make him anything. What could we do with him? We could also make him a, a different colored ladybird maybe. You can just have fun and create your own bug jar using whatever colors you want and making whatever little bugs that you feel like. Okay, so on this piece of paper, they, well, the piece of paper that I've posted has got two of these jars, so you can make two bug jars and make them different bugs. You could even do like a little snail on the outside who's run away. Anything you want. Just have fun. It's all about having fun with our bugs. Okay. And I can see you again, Heidi. And at the end, you're going to have a fun bag jar with your fingerprints. So enjoy and we'll chat again soon. Bye for now.